Lots of people have been asking me about apps, learning from apps, um, and what do I think about it. I think it's great. If you can buy an app and learn guitar, brilliantly, fantastic, good on you. Lots of people can't. Um, music is a complicated thing, and an app is just one way of learning stuff, and you pay, I guess, I don't know, I've never used one, but I, I'm assuming you can either pay a monthly thing, or you buy the app straight out, and then you just learn whatever's on there. That's great. One of the problems is you can't talk to the app. You can't say, oh, but what about this? But what about that? Oh, I have an idea. I have a question. Whatever. I would suggest learn from an app, write down all the questions you have that the app cannot give you, and then go and get a lesson from a teacher. Whatever teacher. I'm not talking about coming to me. Come to me if you want. Go to your local dude. Support your local musicians and teachers and whatever. But take a list of questions. So many of my students do not have questions. And I was mental with my teacher and be like, oh, what's this? How does that know? How do you make that noise? How do you do this? Whatever. I would have a list of ideas and questions that I wanted to explore. So that's, that's it. That's really not a long video here. It's just try and learn as much as you can with the app. But as soon as you have a question, write it down. Look online for that answer get a lesson with a teacher because at least if they're a decent teacher they'll, they'll be able to tell you things that the app isn't or they'll hopefully be able to answer the questions that you have whether it's to do with technique scales modes whatever arpeggios doesn't matter that's it so try and do a combo support your local teachers and get better faster that's what i'm here for hit me up for lessons if you want we can do a skype and get you rocking better better oh god man whatever <laughs> see you later